The family of murder victim Carla Walker heard a story that all came together that they've been waiting nearly 50 years to hear. Our Jason Allen is live in Fort Worth this afternoon where Walker's family heard from the man now on trial for killing her back in 1974. Jason? Yeah, and Doug, that brought out some emotion today to the point that when court finished up here the second day of the trial, just a few minutes ago, the families of Carla Walker, the victim, and the man accused, Glenn McCurley, they, they spoke together just outside the courtroom. And this was after prosecutors had played uh, Glenn McCurley's first interview with detectives where they confront him with the fact that they have evidence that after 46 years, he was the man they were looking for. I will believe the truth, but right now you're not giving me the truth. I did not kill anybody. Then what did you do? What did you do if you did not tell me? Give me something. Give me something that makes me believe you're not the monster. Well, eventually, as that interview played out over a couple of hours, McCurley admitted pulling Walker out of a car that night, that he had sex with her, that he choked her, although he explained it initially by saying he thought maybe he was saving her from a boyfriend and that everything was consensual. A big part of the prosecution's case today was what led them to McCurley. Scientists laid out how they pulled DNA from Walker's clothes, which had been tried before over the years but hadn't worked until now. And Othram, a Texas lab, was able to develop that DNA profile further and then use genealogy records to match it to the McCurley family. He told me that the name that they had developed was McCurley. And that was a very emotional moment because I felt like we had, I was hearing something that detectives had wanted to hear for the last 46 years. So a lot of uh, emotion playing out here today in the second day of the trial. Again, Doug, uh, they finished here for the day. They'll be back tomorrow to continue this. Boy, 50 years. Hard to imagine, but maybe some answers soon. Jason, thank you so much for taking us in the courtroom.